I'm Mark Kelly in Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. One of the most enjoyable things to do in the saltwater tank world is to spend your tank time doing fun things like bragging corals and picking out the next fish that you want to buy. And the best way to make sure that your tank time is spent on fun things is to get your tank on cruise control. And by cruise control, I mean that your tank is largely watching after and caring for itself. Now today's show is going to be a broad overview about how to get your tank on cruise control. If you're looking for the specifics, I've laid them all out for you in a guide that I've created called the Ultimate Guide to Saltwater Tank Cruise Control. In the guide, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get your tank on and keep it on cruise control. I've made all the mistakes so that you don't have to. And I'll show you exactly what supplements you need to buy for your tank. There's lots of supplements available in the saltwater tank world, but there are very few that actually do anything for your tank that you need to be paying attention to and spending your money on. I'll show you which ones to use, how to use them, and when to use them. And I'm a video guy. That means with the guide, you're going to get video so you can reinforce what you've learned. You can read about it, then you can watch the video to really make sure it sinks into your head. There's no heavy lifting required with this guide. I've done it all for you. To learn more about the guide and to pick up your copy, go to the link at the bottom of your screen. Because Tank Cruise Control, it's a blast. With that, let's get started. So why even care about getting your tank on cruise control? I mean, didn't we get in this hobby to mess with our tanks? I mean, certainly if you're a reef junkie, your life is your tank. I mean, the end of the world could be coming. The USA could be defaulting on their debt. It doesn't matter. All you want to know is, how's my tank doing? Does everything look okay? What do I need to do today? Well, let me make this disclaimer first. When I say getting your tank on cruise control and things taking care of itself, I'm saying that you can spend your time doing fun things with your tank. You're not constantly being fighting fires, dealing with headaches with your tank. That means that you can spend your time checking out your next fish that you want, checking out the next coral you want, fragging your corals, sewing your corals, things like that. In other words, the fun stuff that you want to do. I don't think anyone gets in this hobby to say, I want to be dealing with a problem tank and constantly be putting out fires. Sign me up. Yay. No. Number two reason to get your tank on tank cruise control is that the more it's on cruise control, the more that your tank responds and the happier and healthier that it is. Now, here's an example. In my tank, everything is on cruise control. It's perfectly where I want it. And I'm putting 100 milliliters of calcium a day just to keep up with my corals demands. That means those corals are going nuts. They're having a party. They're just focusing on growing, growing, growing. They wouldn't be growing in such a way if they weren't in the perfect conditions for them. So the more that my tank is on cruise control, the more that it stays there, happier the corals are, the more they can grow, the more I can frag them or sell them, or just sit back and go, look at my beautiful tank. And the third reason to get your tank on cruise control is that it actually makes it very easy for you to step away from your tank. That means when you're on vacation, say in paradise like in Maui, seen here, you're not worried about, oh my gosh, is something going wrong with my tank? Like, are my fish dying? That means you won't be sitting on vacation looking like this when you're trying to relax and have a good time. 